Hi students, today we are going to study different types of graphs from gas laws. Okay, let's start. Welcome back students in our online chemistry class today. This is your Orjit sir. Please uh, subscribe my channel Orjit Ghosh Chemistry Online to get more information. Okay. Now today we are going to study different types of all graphical presentation from gas laws okay from gas laws we are going to study this okay now we are starting okay i have already done some of the xy graphs for you okay now from the very first beginning we are drawing say for example p versus v graph okay now in p versus v graph you can see this is actually very much hyperbolic structure okay and this will be the hyperbolic structure this is p versus v graph okay now in v versus v graph you can see if uh, this temperature constant and then you can draw in different different temperature if it comes then we will get this type of graphs okay this will be the different types of graphs say for example this is this t1 temperature this t2 temperature this is t3 temperature here in this case you can write t1 is less than t2 is less than 3 3 okay so this is p versus v graph now we are moving to the p versus 1 by v graph and this graph looks like a straight line moving through these two points this is the p versus v graph okay now in the next graph that you are going to show you this is actually v versus 1 by p graph now in this v versus 1 by p graph you can draw the very much similar type of it will be a slightly steeper almost similar type of graph okay now next we are moving to pv versus p graph and this pv versus v graph shows us parallel to x axis okay and exactly similarly pv versus v graph also shows the parallel nature okay this is pv versus p students and this is pv versus v now in case pv versus p if the temperature rises the graphs will be like this here if it is t1 t2 and t3 these are different graphs where t1 is less than t2 is less than t3 okay so these are the graphs pv versus v graphs now we are moving to the very important graph this is very important for you this is log p the y axis and log v in the x axis portion then we will get the graph like this and here this angle the gradient is 135 degree why students actually what happens over here you can see since uh, pv equals to constant pv equals to constant so from here we can um, uh, actually draw um, taking log both side log pv equals to log k and then if we write the equation log p it comes log p plus log v and then minus 1 log v plus log k so from here this minus 1 actually since it is uh, actually gives um, y equals to mx plus c format m equals to minus 1 and m equals to minus 1 then tan theta equals to minus 1 shows us the theta value value is 135 degree that's why this is 135 degree okay students this is a very important graph log p plus this log v it gives us this is uh, um, actually this type of and this angle is actually 135 degree okay now we are moving to the next graph so these are the all six graphs from the ball's law already presented now uh, next we are moving to the graph of charles law okay now in charles law actually what happens here if it is a v versus t graph in v versus t graph we can draw and this would be a, a straight line like this okay and if it is in different different pressures the straight line will be like this moving to moving through 
uh, origin. Okay. Here, if it is uh, P1, P2, and P3 at constant pressure, V versus D graphs. So here, in this case, it's P3 is greater than P2 is greater than P1. We can write. Okay. Now moving to the next graph, it is V by T versus T. We will get the similar type of graphs parallel to x-axis. Okay. Now this parallel to x-axis graphs gives us different different types of graphs like this. Okay. In different different pressures P1, P2, and P3. Okay. Where we already stated that in this case also is P3 is greater than P2 is greater than P1. Okay, students. So up to this point, you should understand the graphs securely. The next graph that you are showing is Gelusak's law from Gelusak's law. So it is P versus T graph, P versus T graph. Okay, and in this P versus T graph, you can see actually what happens. It goes to the uh, actually from um, similarly go through uh, origin, and if it is in different different temperature, then we'll get the graphs like this. Okay, and in these cases also it is V constant, it is V1, if it is V2 and if it is V3, then we can write in V1, V2, V3, where V3 is greater than V2 is greater than V1. Okay, students. So, uh, these are the six graphs that we have already got from Boyle's law, these two graphs from Charles' law, and this is the graph from Gelusak's law. These are the all six graphs we have already presented to you. Another graph that we can draw from here. You can see another graph and that already have presented you that uh, from uh, Boyle's law, Charles law and Gelusak's law. Another graph from Avogadro's law, if we want to draw, we can draw it. Okay, there is a Smith's mom. I'm drawing it out here for you. Okay, um, V versus N. This is from actually Avogadro's law. Okay, V versus N graph and it shows actually at constant pressure and temperature through origin straight line v versus n graph okay students so hope you like this video okay to get more information please uh, share my channel and like it and give comments okay thank you